If we go see KD community on Twitter of a couple of days ago, we can see this tweet that rightfully sparked some confusion. We can see, check out my, my Wishal, a beautiful classic KD graphical environment that will work on your desktop, tablet and phone. And what we see is in fact a desktop. And so people, people rightfully asked, uh, well, is this going to be the future of Plasma? Is this going to be Plasma 6? Is this a KD project even? And well, the answer is actually no, and let me explain why. And it's very rightful that there is some confusion, confusion, confusion on this, because KDE has this Maui Kit project, and the, which is basically a set of widgets that apps can use to build, you know, apps or even desktops. Then there are Maui apps. And those are KD projects as well. And then there is Mawishal, which is this desktop, which is actually not a KD project. It's a Nitrux one. So Mawikit and Mawik apps are KD projects. Mawishal isn't, which is confusing to be honest. Even like the promotion group when this tweet went out didn't have this whole idea clear. But let's uh, see why that happened and how does uh, this Mawishal actually work because I've tried it and I've installed it. So let's open it up. It's this one that you're going to see in a few seconds. And it actually looks not bad at all. I want to do some remarks on the layout. First of all, I do really like the layout of it. So we've got apps on the bottom, pinned apps, and then these two buttons to this one show all apps that are nicely in each category. I do think that this is a very nice way to show the user um, the applications divided in categories, showing a preview of what uh, is in that category, a bit like iOS, if you know what I mean. And then there is a button to show all open application and clear them. We can see later on how it looks with actually apps on it. And then pinned apps. We've got on the bottom left, a notification, a clock with the calendar, and on the top right, well, first of all, this arrow to show and hide things, which I think is nice. And then we've got this uh, overview for the system tray, this other overview for the system tray with the sliders, this one with the players, if you're playing media, like, I don't know, a YouTube video as an example. And here, quit, restart, and shutdown with this red bar, which to be honest, I'm not sure what represents, maybe the battery, but it, is, it isn't actually synced with my battery. Could be just um, a mock-up for now. I think that the layout as presented is very nice, especially because I can actually, oh, it actually, how to hide, well, that's very nice. I can actually drag and drop with my finger like this from the top. And of course it doesn't work, but I, it used to work now. I think I just have to exit from full screen. Um, sorry, give me a couple of seconds to fix this. What is this? Sorry, it's actually meant for like tablet or uh, phone mode, but now it actually works. I can drag from the top and all of the settings in that part of the screen all together with, will slide in and same happens here, which is very nice. I can also drag from the bottom to see all available desktops. I can even add them, even though it doesn't like update immediately, but uh, it works. I can see all of the apps, search through them. And if I open one, like, I don't know, what can I open? New chat, come here, please. Well, I don't have Maui apps uh, right me with me. Now it's in tablet phone mode, so it will actually open up at full screen. And if I drag from the bottom, like this, I can see the app, the app I'm using and um, this app with a notify blue notifier that is open. And if I click here, I see this app with a close button, clear all show desktop settings. I think that, uh, to be honest, this particular screen is the least convincing, but apart from that one, it all looks very nice. And I fully agree with many design decisions that were made. I personally absolutely love this top right um, overview of what's going on. Let me get back to full screen. This one, I think it's super nice. Okay, I managed to, okay, I need to drag actually with the, now it works. Nice. Uh, you got like the Wi-Fi and you've press here, you can see all of the networks, the Bluetooth, if you press here, all of the Bluetooths. Here settings, this uh, actually changes night mode, but right now um, it's in alpha stage, so it doesn't work, but 
you don't expect projects to actually to actually work 100% on alpha stage. Same for the sliders. Right now they're just not doing anything. Hopefully because otherwise I'm screwing up my microphone. But uh, it's a mock-up, and I totally understand that sometimes when you start a, such a difficult uh, work from scratch, it's not very easy to do. I also have a couple of criticism. Well, first of all. Uh, I gotta say that this bottom bar on desktop mode always shown is a bit too much, maybe. Uh, uh, this one lets you open up the actual desktop, like uh, I've shown you before. But uh, if you drag it on the left and the right, it also lets you switch between virtual desktops, which is nice. It's very touch oriented. Uh, it's a bit buggy, but uh, it's alpha. That's what you would expect. But always showing it uh, well if you're on a desktop device that doesn't have touch screen doesn't make much sense also uh, fit slow is not preserved so if i go to the very top right part of the screen and click uh, well this one doesn't actually open in theory and plasma does this the click should get redirected inside of the applet same goes from the bottom um, sorry top left corner and uh, it does nothing. Uh, also, it's very easy to do a very pretty layout when you're not actually implementing most of the features that, I don't know, Plasma have. Plasma have so many features that it's very hard to do uh, a very good, good looking, simple layout. And this is my opinion of like the shell. I do think that it's really good. You can even drag and drop apps from here to here. It's very nice. Uh, how did we get into this situation where there is this shell, which is called the Maui shell, which is not part of KDE, whereas Maui kit is? What happened? Well, it's, it's not very clear to me either, to be honest. And uh, the idea is that Maui and Nitrux, Nitrux is uh, the actual distribution to simplify things a bit, that ships with uh, Maui shell, Maui kit, and Maui applications. Uh, well, they, they are close to KDE, but they don't like uh, always um, want to be part of KDE in some things. So I'm very happy that Maui apps are part of KDE, but I also see why uh, something like Ashaw, which would be a direct competitor of Plasma, if we want to put it that way, wouldn't be part of KDE. However, um, KDE actually already has another shell um, other than Plasma. I don't remember the name, but uh, KDE actually has two desktops already. I think that the one, I don't remember the name, is one that refuses to use QML and you just QT widgets, I think, if I remember correctly. And um, this for sure will not replace Plasma probably won't influence the development of Plasma either, simply because this is code-wise rather different from Plasma. It bases um, itself on another um, kit, which is Maui kit. Plasma doesn't, isn't based on Maui kit, but different components. And also the ideas, although I like them, I like this whole idea thingy, they're good, and uh, but they're very different from what Plasma is doing. So I don't know how much inspiration we can take out of it. However, and let me close this. One thing that I would like to do is implementing that nice dragging from the panel brings up the full representation of Applets inside of it. So if I start dragging from bottom right, or bottom left, well, if I whoops, if I drag from bo bottom left, I would expect kickoff to pop up, whereas bottom right, I would expect like the system tray and the calendar. I think that could be a good idea. Of course, one needs to see if it's easy to implement, and if so, actually do it. And that was actually all for the video. So. Thanks for watching. I hope I cleared up a bit the situation with this Maui shell. And honestly, let me know what do you think of it because, uh, well, it really looks nice on the screenshots and stuff. And I think it has some potential. Of course, personally, I will continue using Plasma, but that makes sense since Maui shell is, uh, is in the very early, 
yearly sorry stages of development but it's very nice it uh, adapts uh, nicely to being both a tablet and phone or desktop uh, shell without even like restarting it or using a different anything it just works which is super nice and i like it i, I honestly think it's a good project so let me know your thoughts and see you tomorrow <laughs>